inside this is an in and this video I'm going to talk about voice yeah after covering some videos about uh, bearers about the network architecture or RAN interfaces handover something like that at this time talk about core and at first we do need to take a look at the evolution path from uh, GSM to uh, LP network so in the view of voice we can see there is no entity here I mean at release 8 the first release of the LP there wasn't any connectivity for the voice call so the question is at that time how uh, they could uh, handle the situation for answering this question we should first bear that this concept in mind or this circuit switch fallback and looking at this architecture so see that uh, this is a ue and when ue wants to have a i don't know ip connectivity it was okay but there was a path and there was some uh, tunnels for that and it was okay but the point is here when there was the call from pst and uh, there was an interface here which is which is sgs which uh, it connects msc to mne it means uh, at that time when uh, service providers they wanted to implement LTE system uh, they couldn't take off all of the 2G and 3G systems because it was a must it was necessary to have all of them and now uh, there is an entity here which is IMS and IMS can handle every SIP calls or I don't know voice over LTE but at that time there wasn't anyway so this is the thing uh, which is important to bear that in mind circuit switch fallback i mean the situation that still we can see even here in canada uh, a user have a cell phone that the cell phone do not sub uh this that, that specific cell phone uh, does not support uh push over lte and the cell phone it says uh, for example lt at, at at the top of that and when the user wants to make a phone call it will fall back or it will switch over to the 3g so this is the thing uh, when there is an incoming call, no matter which technology you are connected, it goes directly from PSTN towards the MSC. And MSC knows where you are exactly located due to the tracking area. So it sends that towards the MME. MME will uh, see that message and MME will send that, will send that towards you. And it's a kind of paging message. The first one is a paging message. This one is a paging message. And as it contains, uh, we know that a paging message is kind of broadcast message. So all of the users in the cell can see that. But based on MTMZ and things, I mean, identifiers of the LTE, the specific you will understand, okay, I'm the recipient of, of that message. And oh, it's our originating call, or I'm sorry, it's a terminating call. You know, we have incoming call and outgoing call the are general for terms but the point is that in a, in a technical forum we say originating call it means a cell phone is making a phone call and we have terminating call it means a call which is terminated or which is terminating towards the ue so incoming call is a terminating call and the outgoing call is a originating call anyway so the ue will understand you will send the message it's kind of nas messaging towards the MSA extended service request it means i need the circuit switch fall back as you, mme uh, receives that message it sends a message towards the inner and say okay you should uh, release the context release everything that the ue previously was using and redirect the ue towards different or previous generation whatever is available here just redirect that and also there is s1 context release so there will be no uh, s1 bearer for that and the uh, ue will make the phone call and as the phone call finished it will be back toward the previous ndlp in order to have better understanding so let's take a look at the procedure here step by step we have circuit switch procedure it's more terminating look there is a msc paging request MSC towards the MME and MME directly towards the UE and there's a, something like acknowledge here 
and we will send extended service request with circuit switch fallback response there's a communication uh, there's a communication between MME and inad b which is said okay you should uh, ue context modification release everything and do the rest of that and here in a saying okay rrc connection release with the direction to gran or utran gran is a gsm h ran radio access network and it, and it is umps tutorial ran so anyway there's this one a release and the rest of the things that i told you and for more originating uh, the situation is somehow easier. The steps are lower because uh, in this scenario, look at the previous scenario, the, you, there was a paging from the MSC towards the UE, but here you is are gonna try to make a phone call. So the steps are lower, but totally the same. And this is the steps of that, but again, in order to have better understanding. So let's go to the Excal to see the situation. This is the UE, UE is here and it is an ideal situation because it's just listening to pagings and here look we have uplink uh, EPSMM enhanced packet service mobility management it's kind of a sub layer of NAS messaging non access to Stratum we know that it directly goes from the UE towards the MME and it is LP extended service if we see here it's a mobile originating circuit switch fallback it means UE which was idle before now it wants to make a phone call so it so is sending your request towards them and i do need circuit switch fallback because i want to make a phone call after some sort of messaging we have downlink dedicated control channel it means it's a kind of communication between inadb and ue and it is our rc connection release we see that rc connection release and redirected carrier it means you should redirect towards 3g ultra fpv frequency division duplex with this sub carrier frequency so via this message the ue will understand now it can uh, release or it can uh, detach from the lt and attach to the uh, 3g and from this place onwards uh, we cannot see any 4G, any LTE messages. Before that, all of them were LTE, but here, look, uh, master information blocks, it's in, all of them are from 3G. Some sort of broadcast messages, and look, paging, RC connection setup, and uh, authentication, all of them are from 3G, all of them. Because UE now is going to connect to the 3G system to make the phone call, so we have alerting, very good connect call connect acknowledge and disconnect and release as the call is this, uh, was disconnected you is trying to uh, come back to the lt system and we see that the last message is our rc connection release and again uh, you will uh, go towards the lt system so this is the all of the concept of the circuit switch fallback i hope it was good I hope you enjoyed. I tried to cover all, all of the things in the shortest format. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye, everyone.